Hello, everybody. My name is Jen Haddon. Um, my photo on the exhibition is actually the most recent of those taken. Uh, it was taken in just July of this year. Let me tell you a story. I'm four years old. I'm in the car with my family on a journey in the South Island. My mum and dad are in the front seat and I'm in the back seat between my two older sisters. And there's a lot of chatter going on in the car. And I'm sort of leaning against the back of the front seat, sort of with my head um, against my arms. And even though the others would have been quite oblivious to the fact, I was ever so quietly singing a little song. Suddenly I started to cry. What's the matter, dear? My mum said. They spoiled my song, I sobbed. That was one of my earliest memories. And I was very quiet, quiet and shy and in fact felt unheard and sometimes unseen for a number of decades to come. So what happened that in my 60s I can step forward and be visible in the way that this photo portrays? A photo that particularly speaks of moving forward. I love movement, the physical movement of kayaking, going for a bike ride, going for a walk, uh, the movement of music, but also that notion of moving forward in life. Adulthood, for me, came with a number of unexpected and major events that abruptly changed my life. At age 24, there was the sudden loss of my parents in a car accident. A bit later, in my mid to late thirties, then with four young children, was the loss of um, possessions, all assets, farm property, a beautiful family home, and there was the loss of my marriage. However, the gift that these experiences gave me was in what I learnt. It's how you choose to respond to such events that is so important in life. When it was some months out from my 60th birthday, my oldest sister said to me, so, how are you going to celebrate your, your birthday? Oh, I don't know, I said, just something low-key. Well, she wouldn't let it rest at that. This is an important birthday. Besides, I and others will want to celebrate it with you. She was right. I was entering a new phase of life. In many ways, the tables were turning. I was entering a new phase of life. With my parents and their siblings no longer alive, my sisters and I are now the elders in our family. Increasingly, I find myself in the mentor role, and I'm now a grandparent. So I'm not only entering a new phase of my life, but also recognising a shift in the way I see myself. So it was with great joy that I celebrated my 60th birthday with a wonderful evening with friends and family and my hanging out with the kids. Well, thanks to my boys and their partner's rather secretive organisational skills, my hanging out with the kids became a week in Vanuatu with my four sons that I love so dearly and of whom I am so proud. Their wonderful wives and partners 
and my first little grandson. How blessed am I. So now, at 60 plus, there is still so much life to live. It's very important to me to look after my health, to nurture important relationships, to enjoy new adventures, to keep holding myself open to new possibilities and to always be moving forward with gratitude, confidence and above all, trust. Thank you.